What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have 10 brand new diamonds to show you and we're gonna see every one stats today. So we got the player programs, we've got brand new moments for the players league, we got a headliners pack, so much content for MLB The Show today and we're gonna try to get you as many videos as possible. As always, before we begin, make sure you leave a subscribe on the channel if you haven't already with post notifications on. Completely free to subscribe over here, so hit that sub button and be part of the notification gang. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video because, like I said, there's so many diamonds to go through, most of them are free, and it should be a fun time grinding most of these cards. So. Let's get started right away. In the programs, we've got the player programs, Keith Hernandez for the third inning. So now these all go towards the third inning program too. So once you collect this 88 diamond, Keith Hernandez, you can get 20 program stars, another 20 program stars to go for the third inning program. So Keith Hernandez, 88 overall, lefty back, completely free to get. He's got really good contact and really good vision, but a little bit lower power. Keith Hernandez did have a card last year, but this is our this is our rendition. He've got he's got a 93 fielding. He may even get a better card later on in the year. So for example, like Corey Kluber already has a Cy Young card, so Corey Kluber will not get another card this year, or at least that's his final card. Um, but Keith Hernandez, 111 and 101 contact, 45 and 52 power with 89 vision. So if you need a first baseman that's free, it doesn't look like it's too hard to get. Let's see the moments real quick. Missions, online, couple online, um, exchange, play CPU, moments. So moments, we got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 42. 42 you can get out of those. So if you do that... The 42 and then defeat the Cardinals on all-star difficulty or higher. You're going to get yourself some free packs, some free stubs, and an 88 overall diamond, Keith Hernandez. Now, this one, this next one's the most exciting one, I feel like. Players League, Blake Snell, 95 overall. It's not just Blake Snell either. There's eight total diamonds in this. So if you saw the Players League, right, they took the players that got into the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and Blake Snell obviously was the winner. They took all of those players and gave them diamond cards. So let's take a look at the first quarterfinal choice pack unlocked at 20. So four of them here, we've got 86 Joey Gallo, Bo Bichette, an 85 Dwight Smith Jr., and an 85 Gavin Lux. So if you missed out on the Gavin Lux and don't want to buy him in the market, you can get the 85 overall version but what really I really like about this one is the 86 Bo Bichette correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like this is the first time we've seen a diamond Bo Bichette and the card art wow man the card art is amazing on that and we get another Joey Gallo so this Joey Gallo don't know if I'm gonna go for him since I do already have the face of the franchise one and I believe the face of the franchise Joey Gallo has a little bit better vision than this one not sure about the power though, that power is still super elite at 107 and 109, 43 and 59 contact. So right fielder Joey Gallo actually, I don't know, is, is this the other card a right fielder too? I think so, but Joey Gallo can play first base, third base, left field, and center field. So great, great arm out there too. Bobby Shett, 86 overall, 85 and 93 contact, 77 and 80 power, and 71 vision. Pretty good fielding too, so if you need a shortstop, there you go. Completely easy, completely free to get. Dwight Smith Jr. Look at that. He was, I think he was named manager of the year or of the of the players league. Manager award there. Um, 93 and 73 contact, 82 and 73 power with 82 vision. Fielding's a little sus at 60 and 60 arm strength. But if you need like a good bat, it possibly could be a pretty good bat for you guys. Gavin Lux, second baseman. Y'all know who Gavin Lux is. Number two prospect in the MLB right now. 88 and 77 contact with 77 power versus right and 65 versus left. 67 vision. His other card, like I said, is still better. But if you want someone free, there you go. Gavin Lux right there. Gavin Lux fans, uh, Dodgers fans, there you are. So at 40, it's the same one, quarterfinal. So you're, you're going to be able to pick two of these guys. I don't think you'll be able to pick all four unless they let you pick two right away to be able to get all four. But you get stubs, you get the two quarterfinal packs, and then in the, at 70, you get, you get the semifinals, which holds 90 overall, Lucas Giolito, 88 Jeff McNeil, and 88 Ian Happ. 
the one that really sticks out for me here is this 88 switch hitting Ian Happ. We're going to look at his stats real quick. All right, 84 and 72 contact with 101 and 78 power, 53 vision. This card is amazing. Center field, pretty good fielding. Arm strength's a little low. Speed's at 66. Can play in the infield, second and third base, and anywhere else in the outfield too. Wow. So really intriguing card for me here for Ian Happ. Being a Brewers fan, though, it's weird to say, but I've always liked Ian Happ's swing with his bronze cards. Um, we've got an 88 Jeff McNeil. This one's going to be a monster of a hitter. Going to be very good. First base, third base, left field, and right field, along with his second base primary position. 104 and 96 contacts, 72 and 52 power with 90 vision. And then we got the G Lucas Giolito, the winner. Well, second place, actually. I don't know why I said winner, but second place, Lucas Giolito. I think I meant to say like highest overall out of this pack, but Lucas Giolito, very good gamer, very good streamer, and wow, okay, whoa, okay, this this actually looks pretty good here. Five total pitches, four seam fastball, circle change, slider, 12-6 curve, and a two seam fastball. He's got 98 breaks, so you know that slider, circle change, and 12-6 curve is going to be very good. Only downside about this card is the base on balls per nine, the home runs per nine, and the control, so could be a little little wild, but he's got pretty good hits per nine and case per nine there, guys. 93 hits per nine and a 95 case per nine on this Lucas Giolito. All right, from there you get more studs, more packs, and then your champion for the first ever Players League 2020 is 95 overall Blake Snell. I did love his 89 overall from face of the franchise, so I know this card's going to be so good. The only reason why he's not in my starting lineup anymore is that other cards are better currently. But look at this. This is definitely going to be making it on my... He's definitely going to be making it on my starting rotation. Four-seam fastball, curveball, changeup, and slider. Everything that you can ask for in a repertoire. He has it all. 93 stamina, 98 hits per nine, 105 case per nine. Weird lefty delivery, guys. That's what makes this Blake Snell card super intriguing. 99 break, 86 velocity. Control is okay, but the base on balls per nine is at 73 and 79 for home runs per nine. 95 Blake Snell championship. Look at that. It's got the champion badge on there, too. Man, that was fun to watch. I hope they do that again. So, again, guys, this is completely free in the missions. A couple online missions and then offline missions. Pitch innings with race pitchers. That's very easy right there. That's You can do, like, offline ground with that. Tally innings with White Sox. Another easy one. Play v versus CPU on these two. So, 20 right there without having to play online at all. That gets you to the quarterfinals. Um, where else here? We got collections. Players League. Players League, so you can collect all of these to get more, right? One gets you, oh, gets you stubs and a show pack. Balls have a pack if you collect six of them. Moments, this is where you're gonna earn most of your stuff here, though, guys. So let me calculate this real quick, okay? 26, 32, 38, 44, a total of 60. A total of 60 gets you to here, and then if you do those other missions, these missions here, that'll get you to 80. So you might, yeah, you're, you're going to have to do the online stuff for this, I believe. Tally strike up with race, race pitchers and tally hits with White Sox players online. So events, you should be able to do this with events because we've got the live series events right now. So get your events done, t tally those strikeouts, tally those hits. This shouldn't be hard at all. Once you get through the missions, going to be very easy. And then you can collect them for a ball and habit pack and six standard packs. Wow, that's nice. This is actually a really nice program. So love it. You gotta love it. So that's nine of the diamonds I've showed you so far. There is one more diamond. This one you have to buy in the set 17 headliners pack. It is 96 overall future stars. Another Phillies. Phillies getting all the love along with the Braves. 96 overall Spencer Howard. Four seamer, changeup slider, curveball, and a cut fastball. Excuse me. Hello. 92 stamina, 99 hits per nine. Not 105 case per nine. Really good control and base on balls per nine there. 86 velocity and 95 break. Let me see his quirk real quick. Pressure cooker, workhorse, stingy, grounded, control artist, untouchable, cheesy, knee buckler, and illusionist. A lot of quirks for this card. Wow, okay. So we're getting up there in the overalls for 
for the headliners packs 96 overall definitely better than the last two headliners that we got well i ca actually kind of like the last one with the jason hayward that one was pretty cool but there you go i'll probably do a video for this tomorrow so don't miss that that's why it's really important for you guys to leave notifications on um wow okay cool stuff so far conquest i'm just gonna go over this very quickly and then we're gonna grind it out and get you guys all the locations for the packs in the happy mother's day uh, since mother's day is this weekend happy mother's day to all your mothers out there but very easy looks very easy there's two four six total strongholds hoping it does lead to a few good packs couple of uh you do have to play a couple of these strongholds though at least for sure because there are roadblocks there but the rest of them you don't have to play unless you know unless there are some good ones at these strongholds up here but i'm gonna go over that in a video so make sure you do leave a subscribe and a like on this video We've got steal 3 million fans, we've got capture 2 strongholds, 4 strongholds, capture the heart for mom, capture the right heart for mom, all strongholds, and then conquer all territories. So you get stubs, XP, show packs, and the hidden packs inside of that showdown. So, if I missed anything, let me know down below. I don't think we got any more prestige programs, I don't see it at all here. But, a lot of good stuff guys, a lot of good stuff coming. So get out there, get your grinds in. And all of these should be pretty easy to get. If, if you're not opening packs, I suggest going for that Blake Snell for sure. Completely free. You get so many diamonds. You get, you get a lot of XP. You get a lot of stubs. So, but if you enjoyed today, if you're excited for the content, let me know in the comments down below. Check out my other two videos right here. And watch out for these new videos that are coming out on the channel today. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.